Okay, so earlier today, I was acting as somewhat of a mediator for one of my friends and an associate. And basically what it was, was a lack of communication or proper communication. So the guy said something very disrespectful to my friend. I said, stop saying it. You are insulting a lion. So the associate, he took that a certain way and he felt slighted a bit. This guy has money. This guy has just a normal type of uh, income. Now, this guy thinks that money is unique, and I tell him all the time, money is not unique. For one, there's a lot of people with money. For two, money ain't the end all, whether you have it or not. And for three, sometimes people always have money, and they lead with money, and that's it. So once somebody experiences the money side of them, they're bored, because this, these types of people have nothing else to offer but money. No personality, no charisma, you know, no other skills. And sometimes money can be a handicap to people when they always have it. They never develop the skills that someone who don't have, who may get money on, along the way, you develop a lot of skills on your journey. The guy start insulting me or trying to insult me. You think you're something with your muscles? Like, no, do you? In your house, that's weird. He started naming all of these things, right? I'm like, wow, this guy is taking things that he look at me, look at that I have and trying to use it against me. And it comes down to like insecurity. What he's doing is showing what he says or thinks about me when I'm not around. Oh, he must think he's this, that, or third. And I know he thinks that I'm just some dumb meathead, and I am a dumb meathead, <laughs> but I have a lot of skills, right? Now this guy, very insecure. I tried to correct an improper action of his during this dialogue, something that was ne not necessary for one, and for two, can't get him hurt. And that's just being honest. He didn't take it well. This is the type of person that never has people around him to check him when he's wrong. I don't ever want y'all being like that. I tell my friends, yo, if I'm out of line, please tell me. I'm gonna tell y'all like this. If you're out doing dumb shit, making dumb decisions, treating people bad, and your friends don't check you, fuck those people. You need better friends. Because that means they don't care about you. If somebody pull your coattail on something, fucking listen. They're trying to prevent you from harming yourself or harming somebody else or getting yourself in trouble. They're seeing uh, uh, actions that you're embarking on that's not conducive to a good life or, or being a good person, a stand-up person or a person of character. I don't want y'all to be like this guy, right? This guy was yelling, fussing, he was trying to insult me. You know, of course, he's far away on the phone because that would never happen man to man. And if it did, you know, whatever happens, happens. He's that way because he's not secure with himself. As much money as he has, he's not happy. That doesn't, money don't make you happy. You developing yourself to be a stand-up person or a person of character, that gives you peace, right? It gives you inner joy. I have peace. My dealings with people, I'm good, you know? People like this are worried about karma, you feel me? And I told my buddy, I said, look, when the karma train comes and lightning strikes that tree, you don't want to be sitting under that tree because everybody around is getting hit by the lightning. It's indiscriminate. For a man to feel secure with himself and not act out like this, there's certain things that a man should do. And this, this message is directed to the young cats out there. You want to always try to strengthen yourself. Your mind, body, spiritual, financial, all of that, right? That's why I'm big on the things that I talk about all the time. Meditation, reading, some form of fasting, some, some form of uh, suffering, abstaining from something that you love to do, training yourself, your body, right? And trying to qualify yourself to be a better person, a more productive person in society. You know what I'm saying? These things are not easy, but good. Hard times make sturdy people, you know what I'm saying? So when we suffer, when we put ourselves through some kind of suffering, some kind of pain, especially when it's productive, it just makes us better people. It makes us strong, more sturdy. When all you have is pleasure, 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 you're weak, you're fragile. See, sometimes people who have money, they think they money intimidate people. They think they can deploy resources and have people do stuff for them. When people don't respect you, you could deploy all the resources you want. The people you're deploying those resources to will take your money and probably break bread with people like myself or my friend or other stand-up dudes. And there's nothing you can do about it. Word to the wise is sufficient. Don't be like that, y'all. Ready yourself up at all times. Stay sharp, stay dangerous, stay being a good person, right? And treat people good. And if you do got money, 
don't think that that's like your ticket to walk over people or talk to people crazy or whatever. Cause you can get your rich ass slapped the fuck up. What does your money do for you then? All right.